The clock is ticking at Starbase, and history is about to unfold. In just a matter of days, SpaceX's Starship Flight 8 will take to the skies. But that's only part of the story. Hidden in plain sight, SpaceX has been laying the groundwork for something even more extraordinary. Flight 9 could be the mission that changes everything. Right now at the gateway to Mars, two launch towers stand against the Texas sky. Tower B's massive robotic arms have come alive for the first time. Their movements precise and deliberate, testing the mechanisms that could soon catch a returning starship. This isn't just another test. It's a glimpse into SpaceX's master plan. The energy at Starbase is electric. New cryogenic pumps are being installed, subcoolers are taking shape, and the expanding tank farm is transforming before our eyes. Every piece of hardware, every test, every movement is building toward a future where rapid reusability isn't just a dream, it's business as usual. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we're tracking what could be the most ambitious chapter in Starship's story yet. From breakthrough developments on the moon landers currently en route to the lunar surface, to game-changing progress on fully reusable rockets, this week is packed with developments that will shape the future of space exploration. Let's dive right in. At the heart of SpaceX's vision for the future stands Pad B, a testament to human ingenuity and determination. This week, we witnessed a moment that will be etched in the spaceflight history, the first movements of the massive mechanical arms that will one day catch returning spacecraft from the heavens. The left arm moved first, extending outward with a grace that belies its enormous size and power. Engineers stood nearby, their faces a mix of pride and intense concentration as they monitored every millimeter of movement. This wasn't just a test of machinery, it was a glimpse into a future where rockets return home like birds to their nest. The success of the left arm's test sparked an immediate response. Within hours, the right arm followed suit, performing its own choreographed dance against the Texas sky. There's something profound about watching these massive structures come to life. Each movement brings us closer to a reality that seemed like science fiction just years ago. A world where spacecraft aren't just launched, but caught and readied for their next journey to the stars. But the story of Pad B goes deeper than its impressive catching arms. The entire launch complex is transforming before our eyes. The tank farm expansion has entered a critical phase, with new cryogenic propellant pumps being installed with surgical precision. These aren't just any pumps. They're the arteries of a system designed to feed two launch towers, capable of pushing propellant in both directions. It's a dance of liquid oxygen and methane that will soon power humanity's greatest leap toward the stars. The recent installation of subcoolers adds another layer to this intricate system. By lowering propellant temperatures and increasing density, these systems allow SpaceX to pack more power into every launch. Two massive tanks, fresh from the port of Brownsville, have already found their place in this growing mechanical ecosystem. The deluge tank farm is taking shape, promising to tame the intense heat and force of future launches. Tower B's flame diverter is another marvel of engineering coming together piece by piece. Temporary beams hold massive pipes in perfect alignment as welders work their magic, creating a structure that will redirect the raw power of Starship's engines. The launch mount itself is being fortified, with new plates being installed on three previously open sides. Deep within the scaffolding, mysterious pipework hints at advanced systems for detonation suppression. Yet another layer of innovation in SpaceX's relentless pursuit of safety and reliability. But perhaps the most intriguing development lies in the potential expansion of the tank farm. Seven large tanks recently removed from Launch Complex 39A in Florida have begun a journey that could lead them to Starbase. These tanks could be destined for the planned air separation unit near Pad B, a facility that would allow SpaceX to produce their own nitrogen and oxygen on-site. This level of self-sufficiency would be a game-changer for launch operations. The anticipation for Flight 8 has reached fever pitch. What started as an optimistic comment during an XAI livestream has evolved into a concrete launch window. The signs are unmistakable. Kadena OIS advisories, NOTAMs over the Mexican Gulf, and road closures at Starbase all point to a launch in just days. Even the timing has been carefully calculated. 
with a 90-minute window starting at 5.30 p.m. local time, chosen to optimize visibility conditions for both launch and splashdown. In the Mega Bay, final preparations continue with meticulous attention to detail. The hot staging ring for Booster 15 made a brief appearance before returning to the Star Factory, a move that echoes the successful approach used with Booster 13. More Starlink simulator satellites have been spotted inside the Star Factory, promising another attempt at testing payload deployment capabilities. But the real bombshell came with the revelation about Flight 9. A new FCC document hints at something unprecedented, a mission that could see Starship not only achieve orbit, but attempt a catch at the newly constructed Pad B Tower. Meanwhile, Booster would make its way back to Pad A, setting the stage for the first ever dual tower recovery operation. It's a plan that showcases SpaceX's ultimate vision for rapid reusability. The evolution of future flight vehicles continues at breakneck speed. Booster 17's forward tank section emerged from the Star Factory, moving to Mega Bay 1 for integration with its existing methane tank. Ship 36, believed to be destined for Flight 10, shows intriguing signs of innovation in its tile configuration. The minimal tile coverage at this stage could signal a new approach to thermal protection, possibly including the actively cooled tiles being tested on Ship 34. Meanwhile, at Cape Canaveral, history was made with a Falcon 9 launch that broke new ground. For the first time ever, a SpaceX booster launched from one country and landed in another. Touching down on the drone ship just read the instructions off the coast of the Bahamas. This southeastern trajectory optimization opens new possibilities for polar orbit missions, including the groundbreaking FRAM-2 human spaceflight mission. The lunar frontier is alive with activity. Intuitive Machines' IM-2 mission stands ready for launch, carrying the Athena lander along with NASA's Lunar Trailblazer and several ambitious CubeSats. The mission profile is a testament to modern space exploration's complexity. A direct shot to lunar orbit, followed by a precisely choreographed landing attempt just seven days after launch. Athena's payload manifest reads like a science fiction inventory. The mobile autonomous prospecting platform rover, weighing in at 10 kilograms, will methodically explore the lunar surface at 10 centimeters per second. Tiny rovers from Japan and MIT will join the exploration effort, but perhaps most exciting is the Micro Nova Lunar Hopper. This innovative machine will leap across the lunar surface, specifically targeting permanently shadowed regions that might harbor precious water ice, a resource crucial for sustaining future human presence on the moon. The Prime Drill Experiment stands ready to test the moon's potential for in situ resource utilization while measuring volatile content in subsurface samples. This isn't just about scientific curiosity, it's about understanding how to live and work on another world. Other lunar missions continue to make progress. Is Space's Resilience Lander successfully completed its lunar flyby, now embarking on a deep space journey before its planned lunar orbit insertion in May? Firefly's Blue Ghost Lander executed a perfect orbital adjustment, capturing breathtaking footage of the moon's far side from 120 kilometers up. These aren't just missions. They're pioneers mapping the path for humanity's return to the moon. In a parallel development that deserves attention, Stoke Space has unveiled their modified Andromeda upper stage. The new design features 24 optimized thrusters arranged around the heat shield's circumference, integrated directly into the curved dome surface. This hot staging system represents a different approach to the challenges SpaceX is tackling with Starship, demonstrating how innovation in space technology often follows multiple paths to the same goal. Testing of the Andromeda 2 engine revealed an interesting phenomenon. The orange, fluffy appearance of its exhaust plume comes from water injection used to cool the exhaust before it hits the concrete. The unique heat shield design, which circulates cryogenic liquid hydrogen through its dome for cooling, showcases the kind of innovative thinking that's driving the new space race forward. Stokespace's recent quarter-billion-dollar funding round underscores the serious nature of their endeavor, with Launch Complex 14 at the Cape being prepared for their use and continued testing of their Zenith engine, one of only two full-flow stage combustion engines currently being tested alongside SpaceX's Raptor they're positioning themselves as serious players in the reusable rocket market. The space industry stands at a pivotal moment, 
While NASA faces potential workforce reductions and budget constraints, private companies continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. Rocket Lab's 60th Electron mission, launching Black Sky's first Gen 3 high-resolution satellite, demonstrates the ongoing evolution of space technology and capabilities. This convergence of developments, from SpaceX's dual tower recovery plans to lunar exploration missions and new players pushing the boundaries of reusable rocket technology, paints a picture of an industry in transformation. We're not just watching the development of new rockets and spacecraft, we're witnessing the birth of a new era in space exploration, where the dreams of yesterday become the realities of tomorrow. Each test, each launch, each small step forward brings us closer to a future where space travel is routine, where lunar exploration is commonplace, and where the boundaries of human achievement are pushed ever further. As we stand on the brink of Flight 8 and look ahead to Flight 9's ambitious goals, we're not just observers, we're witnesses to history in the making. As we look ahead to the coming days, the story of space exploration continues to unfold at an unprecedented pace. Flight 8 stands ready to push the boundaries of what's possible, while Flight 9 promises to revolutionize how we think about rocket recovery. The dual tower system at Starbase isn't just an engineering achievement. It's a gateway to making space travel as routine as air travel. From the lunar missions charting new paths to the moon, to innovative companies like Stoke Space reimagining rocket reusability, we're witnessing the dawn of a new space age. Each development, each test, each mission brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. Here at Elon Musk 24 Hours, we're committed to bringing you the latest developments in this incredible journey. Our community's support keeps this channel growing, allowing us to deliver in-depth coverage of these historic moments. If you value staying informed about the future of space exploration, join our community by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Share your thoughts on Flight 8's upcoming launch in the comments below. What milestone are you most excited to see? Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this deep dive into SpaceX's latest developments informative. Thank you for being part of this journey to the stars. Breaking news from Starbase, Texas, that's about to change everything we thought we knew about February's space calendar. While speculation has been running wild about Starship's next move, SpaceX just revealed something that nobody saw coming. Flight 8 isn't just on the horizon, it's practically at our doorstep. The FAA has just dropped an official advisory that's sending shockwaves through the space community. February 26th is now marked as the no earlier than date for Starship's next launch. Mark your calendars for next Wednesday with a launch window between 5.30 p.m. and 7.09 p.m. Starbase time. But that's not all we're tracking today. Blue Origin's new Glenn is making waves, literally, with pieces washing up in the Bahamas. Firefly's lunar mission is hitting critical milestones, and Rocket Lab is proving once again why they're the masters of precision launches. Plus, we've got exclusive updates from Stoke Space that you won't want to miss. Elon Musk 24 hours here, bringing you the most crucial developments in space.